you met someone, and this happens sometimes when you have a, a very, because you got, when, when someone's a fan of yours, sometimes they take it almost too far. You met someone who's got a, a t tattoo of your face on their body, is that right? Yeah. How'd you meet this person? I, I was at uh, Chipotle. Uh, <laughs> before, These stories always before. end up well, don't they? <laughs> Poor Chipotle, and, and, and it, was, it was lunchtime because my daughter really wanted a, 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 bur a burrito, whatever, or the salad. And he says, uh, the, the manager comes out, it's filled with people, and, and they're saying, oh my gosh, your biggest fan is here. I said, oh wow, that's so nice. And now people are starting to tune in. He says, he's such a big fan of yours, he's got, he's got a tattoo of you. I was like, get out of here, he's got a tattoo of me, that's crazy. And, 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 and he said, yeah, no, he's here. I said, the guy with the tattoo of me is here. Yeah, now, now everyone's listening, everyone's watching. I was like, well, where is he? Bring him, bring him out, I wanna see this, a tattoo of me. And there was a tattoo of me. <laughs> and it's the, From Goodfellas from, it's, and Pesci and De Niro. Let's see, you took a picture of it. Now, I have a question. <laughs> Did that guy make that himself in prison? <laughs> I don't know. That book, first of all, that's Christopher Walken on the right. <laughs> I think that's John F. Kennedy up front. <laughs> yeah, wait, honestly, maybe, which one? Which one is uh, you? Well, uh, supposedly the one on the right, but maybe on now we right. know why they're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me that's his shoulder. Uh, <laughs> all right, so let's. <laughs> 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 Speaking of Goodfellas, I was, it was just the 25th anniversary of Goodfellas, and I was saying before he came out, one of my maybe top 10 films of all time ever made. I love that movie. I never knew that you were not uh, maybe the first choice by the producers or whoever was in charge of the studio to play Henry Hill, is that right? Oh yeah, they would have rather have Eddie Murphy than me. Right. They would have. <laughs> anybody, anybody else Anybody you. different, because I had only done uh, Field of Dreams hadn't come out yet. I had done two movies that nobody saw. They were good movies. And from what I understand, Marty wanted me. Marty Scorsese, Scorsese the, director, the director, yeah. wanted me. And then, uh, but they were having trouble getting Warner Brothers to say yes. And then, from what I understand, De Niro saw Marty at a party. They were talking. They were talking about he was having trouble finding the character to play Jimmy Burke, the, the, uh, the part that, that Bob eventually played. And when De Niro said he would do it, I guess that was what the studio needed to hear. And then it was, it oh, yeah, It took the pressure of course, right. off of, uh, we need a big star, who, you know, right yeah, there for that role. Exactly. Tom Cruise was considered for your part? Uh, That's what I heard. Really? Oh! <laughs> Not, Sorry, I thought that was a well-known fact. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out, Ray, it worked out. It did. Your new show, Shades of Blue, uh, it is, uh, as we said, it's, it's a network show, but it's quite an edgy show. I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing what you can get away with on television Ed, these days. Just what you were saying before blew my mind. What? Did you, so didn't you say asshole? I wouldn't talk that way on television. No, I heard it. What show were you, what I, show I, were you I, watching I backstage? It was this. <laughs> It's, it's, just, it's, um, it's his pet name for me. It, yeah. He says it all the time. I get it. That was in a commercial break. <laughs> when I say to Andy, you pipe down, asshole. That's, <laughs> you're not supposed to repeat that on television. You get things straight, asshole. I'm in charge here. <laughs> yes, it is amazing. You, uh, you work with, uh, with, with... Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez. Do you call her J-Lo? Unless she calls me Ray Lo, I will not call her. <laughs> you don't. You don't go for that nickname. No, thing? no. Actually, I've done two other movies. One with it's even hard to say now. One with Busta Rhymes and one with LL Cool J. And I just, I'm not. I'm just not going to call him by those nicknames. You mean you're not going to say to a grown man, LL, well, yo, yo, yay? I just won't do it. <laughs> What'd you call, you didn't say Busta? I, 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 to him I was Mr. Busta, but. <laughs> <laughs> you just won't do it. I won't do it. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so they will stop making me shoot these videos. Please.